Well, hello there. <clears throat> so, I came to the mountains to stay about a week here. And here's where, where my aunt lives. So she told me, hey, could you give me uh, an LCD monitor? Because I'm still using a CRT. She was still, still using a 1024 by 768 uh, 60 Hertz CRT it wouldn't go past 60 Hertz so it would it would make your eyes bleed almost literally so I gave her uh, a really simple monitor a 1024 uh, 1280 by 1024 60 Hertz panel with well that's about a TN panel pretty simple and she gave me this in exchange for that a box full of cassette tapes now these are the rejected quote unquote cassettes these are the ones that I don't want this box was full up to the brim these are the rejected cassettes because they're all music in Spanish which is something I don't really care about I don't like music in Spanish there's also a video 8 tape, pretty standard, I have separated these four which might be of interest to my grandparents, they might like this music, well I think they like the music, but I'm, I'm not sure if their, their cassette deck is still working, but well, just in case, give them these. Now, the interesting stuff is not here, it is here, in this box, Porta cassettes, as you can see, it is, well, a carrying case for cassette tapes. We open it up and we have recordable cassettes, which is what I was interested in. Let's start with these. Uh, these Toshiba. C60T, as you can see the case of this one isn't in good shape at all. Open it up. Pretty standard. Like I said, this one's probably from the 70s. As you can see the compact cassette logo still on it. Normal type cassette tape. Pretty standard. Just a slow noise, it doesn't even mention it is a type 1 tape so probably from the 70s probably sounds like crap I'm not gonna use these but they are cool to have such an old such old cassette tapes this one's the same thing just that the case is red and now we have TDK D60s, I have 5 of them, 3 from the 80s, 2 from the 90s These are the standard, well, the generic, rather, cassette tapes You can see these just about everywhere, these are just about, well, you can find them just about everywhere Typical, normal bias DDK D60s, are, there's nothing special about them at all. So, I won't use these either. I'll just keep them for collection. These three are the same. We have, of course, D60s from the 90s. Clear style. Now we have Sony HFs. More generic uh, Type 1 tape. Which HFs don't actually sound that bad. They're actually kind of decent for being uh, normal type tapes, but I'm not gonna use them either. I'm just gonna keep them there. Now we have Fuji DRs, which are normal tapes, but I think they are. Uh, I think they're decent, they're kind of better than the HFs 
I have tried uh, Fuji DR2s and they did actually sound pretty good. Pretty good. But I think these don't even come close to those. Nothing special again, just normal tape. Type 1. The case actually goes, the tape goes into the case actually the other way around on these. As you can see, there's a recess in there. So they could make the case slimmer. I don't know what's the point on making the case slimmer, but there we go, it is slimmer. Now I have two of these in here and I have one of them without a case somewhere. Now, what do we have here? I don't remember what this is. Oh, it's another Fuji DR. Oh, there we go, another Fuji DR. Now we have, oh, this is kind of flip. Now we have a Pioneer N1A. Never heard of these. I don't know how they sound. It looks from the 80s. N1A60 looks like the, the bottom of the range. Uh, Pioneer tape, normal bias, nothing special about it. Just a normal tape. Probably sounds muddy and, yeah, well, typical cassette sound. Let's put it back in there, if I can. Or oh, whatever. Then we have another one of these, N1A60s. And then we have this, N260, normal bias. I think this one is a notch above the N1As. This one, I might try recording on it and see what it sounds like. Well, hear what it sounds like, rather. It doesn't seem to have been recorded, so it has gold lettering, which must mean something, that is for sure. So, yeah, this one, I'm expecting a nice normal tape. Then we have a TIAC CDX60. I think this is also a pretty nice normal tape. As you can see, see-through. Really clear. Looks cool. Now, this. A BASF LHE160. Bottom of the range. BASF. Normal tape, again, nothing special. You can see the security mechanism that they have going on right there. Look it up if if you want to know more about it. It's a pretty cool mechanism, actually. Now, we have the... This one is an icon. This next one is an icon of a generation. This is a chrome dioxide. If you wanted to record something in high fidelity in the 80s, you bought chrome dioxide. Of course, the signature red leader on them. This one's pretty beat up. I don't think this one will be recordable in the state it is, but. Mm, Nevertheless, I have one. Pretty cool. Now, I think this is the mo the most modern tape that's in here. 
This is a BASF Record 2 from the 90s, of course. It's a 90 minute tape, which is pretty nice. These ones, well, they sound good. They sound really decent. They're really decent tapes. There's nothing special about them. There's, there's nothing special about them, but they sound good. They sound like a basic chrome tape. Now, these ones I want to record to, these three. These are Sony UXs. These are the kind of the, I don't know how to explain it, the low end of the high end of Sony's Chrome lineup. These ones are really good uh, Chrome tapes. You can really push them hard. And they sound really good. So I will be recording these. I will be recording on these because they are excellent tapes. Again, these three are UXs. And then we have this, which I was surprised to see. This. It's a Pioneer M1 metal tape. Now this is a metal tape. I had never seen a metal tape in person. Looks from the 80s. And well, what can I say? It is a metal tape. Like I said, uh, I'm expecting excellent sound reproduction on this thing. These things go for quite a bit of money these days. As you can see they have the little cutouts to indicate that they're metal. And well, yeah, they go for quite a bit of money. And I don't really want to use this one because metal tapes are Abrasive, they are kind of abrasive and they wear out uh, heads really quickly. So I might record onto it once, I might play it back once on my home deck, of course. I'm not even gonna put this on my Walkman, but yeah, it's it will be cool to see how a metal tape sounds. Never heard one of them, so, really cool, really cool, and this is the one that made me happy, I would be happy if she only gave me this one, now, I have a couple of oddities, apart from these tapes, I have, well, not oddities, really, but, I have this, which looks to be a chrome dioxide, an early chrome dioxide, since, it has the red litter, litter tape, but it has, as you can see, the labels have fallen off, but it is a chrome dioxide, so pretty good. This is uh, an N2, I think they were, yeah, I think it was an N260, what was it? I had a Pioneer, yeah, it's one of those, a Pioneer. N260, another one, again, labels have fallen off. I have this thing, no clue what there is on it, there's some kind of numbers, I can't read them. Can't read what's on it, so, tape with no labels, whatsoever. I have this Seiko tape. Really early, as you can see, it doesn't even state, it doesn't even say low noise. So this thing must sound like crap. This thing's probably from the early 70s, maybe even the 60s. Judging for from the, the quality of the molding on the plastic. So, mm, I think this is the oldest cassette tape I own. I have this 
Racks? I have never heard of racks. I think it is actually a supermarket chain. Racks? I'm not sure, but it says EDX. Maybe the X means that it is superior to a standard normal tape. Oh, well, it is a, a normal tape from the 90s, as you can see. Now I have another Fuji DR60 and a Sony HF90 right here. Now I have these couple of things which are really cool. These are demonstration tapes. This one by Sanyo. I think it was made just to, to demo a cassette deck. As you can see it is a C12, so 12 minutes, 6 minutes on each side. The first side has Malagueña Salarosa and When the Saints Go Marching In. Huh, pretty cool. I think this has been recorded. There has been something recorded over it though, because it has these. That's a shame. The side 2 actually has nothing, so you could try the recording function on your brand new deck. So this is a pretty cool piece. I think I will record these two songs back into it. And now we have this, which is from Telefonica, which was the telephone company, the national telephone company, back in the day, here in Spain. And it says, we had something so good to tell you that we have, we have given you the opportunity to listen to it. As you can see, a uh, picture of mother and daughter sitting reading something and a cat and here we have a radiator, a cactus and 